So, brand new gameplay footage of a prototype build of Epic Donald has just surfaced online. It was featured on a channel called Slopes Game Room in a video called The Sad Reasons Why These Disney Video Games Got Cancelled. There is about 30 seconds of Epic Donald footage, but DJ Slope here as he goes by doesn't offer very much commentary about the footage. So in this video I want to analyze what's going on in the footage and speculate on some mechanics of the game. Most of what I'm going to say in this video is again speculation, so don't take everything I'm about to say as fact. But before all that, I want to talk about some background information relating to this footage. In DJ Slope's video, he says that he was anonymously sent the footage. It was recently sent in to me by an anonymous fan of the show, and that's all I've got to say about that. So I believe that the submitter was someone who was directly involved with the development of this game and wanted to stay anonymous to avoid any potential legal trouble. About an hour after the video was uploaded, I DM'd DJ Slope on Twitter asking if he had anything else related to Epic Donald. He said that there was a little bit more information that he had to remove, but other than that, pretty much all of it was featured in his video. I asked if he could send the parts that were cut out, and he replied back about 20 minutes later saying that he couldn't show anything else, and that he had a hard time approving it. I noticed his typing style also changed quite a bit, but you know, whatever. I think the information that he cut out could have exposed the anonymous submitter, which is why he excluded it. It also seems that DJ Slope asked the submitter if he was allowed to show me, but apparently he was denied. So basically, all this means is that all I have to work with is what was shown in this 30 second clip. So let's take a look. Right away, we can see some info about the prototype build in the top left. It looks like this build was from May 24th of 2012. This means that Epic Donald was likely in production at the same time as Epic Mickey 2 since the latter released in November of the same year. As for what's actually going on in the first part of this footage, Donald and Mickey seem to have just arrived in this ancient looking building. Mickey also seems to have a new modern looking design complete with eyebrows. This entire shot looks almost identical to an older gameplay screenshot of Epic Donald, which according to the top left of this screenshot is actually from the same exact prototype build. The most notable difference is that Mickey is completely absent in this screenshot. In the video footage, there's also less information about the build in the top left, but let's focus back on the footage itself. After a few seconds of focusing on Donald and Mickey, the camera zooms out to reveal that this building is much bigger than the viewer may have initially expected. And of course, golden coins are pouring from the walls, which strongly implies that this area has significance with Scrooge McDuck. Let's talk about that for a second. Scrooge McDuck was seen in some concept art for Epic Donald, but more important to this footage, there are three pictures of concept art that may explain where Donald and Mickey are in this footage. This piece of concept art shows Scrooge standing outside of a castle apparently called McDuck Castle. In this other piece of concept art, we can see the exterior for what also looks like a castle. It looks like McDuck Castle is on a nearby island too. And in this third and final piece of concept art, a giant robot is destroying a building that looks almost exactly like a McDuck Castle from the first piece of concept art that we looked at. So all in all, I believe that this building and these three pieces of concept art is where Mickey and Donald are in this footage. The video then begins to fade into something else, but it's abruptly ended by a scene change. Donald and, um, Mickey are roaming the streets of what is likely Duckburg, since Duckburg was also mentioned in a few pieces of concept art. Immediately, we can see that this area looks a lot less polished than the previous area. It's possible that this is an earlier build, but now there's no information about the build in the top left, so I can't say for certain. Anyway, here we can speculate on what would have been the main mechanic of the game. Donald can summon a green force field around him that changes the environment that's visible within the force field. Notably, the ground changes into planks, and skulls and a cannon appear on the window of a building labeled McDuck Inc. This mechanic is probably inspired by the brush in the Epic Mickey series, since Epic Donald was going to be a spin-off of that series after all. Mickey also seems to be able to summon a force field when he's close enough to Donald's force field, but having the two force fields overlap doesn't seem to do anything special. The player controlling Donald walks over to a submarine and seems to reload the game. Only now that the game has been reloaded, the entire world appears as if it was being exposed by Donald's force field. If we look at the window of McDuck Inc. again, we can see that the skulls and cannon are visible even though Donald is nowhere nearby. 
I'm not sure if getting the entire world into this force field mode was just for debug purposes or if this would be able to happen normally. You can also notice that much of the fog that covered this area has been removed which lets us see stuff in the background a lot easier. The player gets a hold of Donald's controls and once again activates the force field, but now the force field does the opposite effect now that the whole world has changed. Donald runs over to the right a little bit, but that's all the new footage we have. So let's go back to one of the pieces of concept art that we looked at earlier. We can see Donald using a flashlight that emits a green light that changes the environment, much like the green force field we saw Donald using earlier. So, I believe that Donald wouldn't be able to summon force fields as if he had magic superpowers. I think that Donald would have wielded a flashlight that would have activated this force field, just like how Mickey wielded a brush in Epic Mickey. But how come Mickey can also use the green light in this footage? Did he also have that flashlight? Well, I don't think so. Just by looking at Mickey in this part of the footage, you can tell that, at least in this clip, he was pretty early in development. I think that since the developers clearly just copied Donald's model and animations, they also copied the green force field mechanic, which would also explain why nothing special happens when the two force fields collide. Well, that was a lot to unpack. I'm glad that our anonymous friend happened to submit this clip to Slope's Game Room because this is pretty big stuff. And if you happen to be that anonymous submitter, then DM me on Twitter or something. The link for my Twitter is in the description. Just saying.